Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So as promised, I said I was gonna do a video in regards to flat irons because you guys know that we recently partnered with H2 Pro, um, which is the irons that I use in the salon that you guys have seen in all of my videos. Um, and these are have been my favorite irons for years. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a breakdown of the irons and what irons I recommend for what type of situation. First things first, if you're new to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to thumbs up this video while you are on the live. Um, all right, so let's get started. Flat irons come in two different grades, okay? So there is professional, and then they have what we call over-the-counter, OTC. Um, it could also be called novice. It could be called so many different things. But in this instance, when I recommend irons, I'm typically recommending irons that are for professionals to you guys because I know you guys have been watching my videos and you understand how to use the irons. But at the same time, I give you guys professional insight on using the irons. That's why I'm okay with offering them on EliteHairCareUSA.com. So if you're natural, um, versus relaxed, sometimes the irons will change. If you guys know me as a professional stylist, I use a number of different tools because my job requires me to have a number of different tools for me to be able to accommodate each individual client that sits in my chair. I don't use the same iron for every single client because the same iron won't work well for every single client. Um, I don't use the same iron for every single silk press. I don't use the same iron for every single relaxer. So that's another reason why I wanted to create this video so that we were all on the same page and you guys had a better understanding of how flat irons work or how even tools work so that when you're making your decision of what tool you need for your hair, you're making a sound decision. All right, so we're gonna start with these four irons here. Um, these irons you guys actually see me use on all of my clients in the salon. So. I have these four here. All four of these are of a different style. Okay, so I'll start with this one on the right. This is called Vivace, right? So this is an H2 Pro Vivace iron. All of the irons are professional tourmaline styling irons, okay? So this one is a one and three fourths of an inch. So it has a very wide plate. This is a good beginner friendly iron for those of you that your hand is not as steady you have uh, anything past a bob or a bob or longer in length. Um, you don't need titanium at home because you really only flat iron your hair here and there. This is great no matter if you are relaxed or natural. It can be used on either type. The main focus of this iron is the size. The one and three fourths inch allows you to have a smoother finish, number one. You get less fish hooks in the hair, number two, and you, allow, you can cover a lot more ground with this flat iron. So it's very beginner friendly. I definitely recommend this for those of you who are just now getting into thermal styling um, and you really just want a good quality iron that you are able to utilize without having those lines or fish hooks in the hair. This is definitely a good one and definitely great for bobs. I use this for my bobs. I used it yesterday in a couple of videos and also in my live, curling my bobs, nice and smooth, absolutely love it. I've actually had this iron sitting around for quite some time. I've had this iron actually longer than I had this ceramic plate, the ceramic plate. I've been using the titanium for a very long time. This ceramic plate iron and this one, I've had this one a lot longer than I've had this one. But this one, I was always um, trying to utilize the ceramic one inch after I got it. Because every time you get a new tool, you put away the old tool. That's me. So every time I get a new tool, I'll put away the old tool. But this iron has been sitting in my drawer for a long time. And I'm like, you know what? Now that I'm actually offering the irons, I better start using these irons. So I took it out on purpose. And I'm like, oh, wow. Why haven't I been using this to curl my bobs for any other reason? This should have been my go-to for bobs from day one, but out of sight, out of mind. But that iron, which is the Vivace, um, I also call it the red plate. That is a one and three fourths inch iron. It is actually, all the irons that I'm talking about today are available at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Um, 
with our partnership, we can offer any iron we want, but I'm specifically offering irons that I truly love and that I am okay with offering and that I really, really like. Um, and I like to show you guys how to use them. So I'm not going to offer something that I don't use. Okay. All right. Number two. So this is the micro one inch ceramic iron. Okay. This one and this one, they are actually, let me make sure they're not on. No, not on. Okay. These two are actually the two irons. They are sister and brother. Okay. So this is the titanium. This is the ceramic. This is what we call the Cadillac or the Mercedes of flat irons. That is the reason why the price point on these flat irons are a lot higher because that is Okay. Um, that is my go-to iron, especially because I'm a professional in the salon. So I flat iron or silk out all day, every day. So these irons are really made for those people who need that Mercedes Benz of a flat iron. You like that silky finish. You like that smooth finish. You want to look like you were in the salon and got your hair done. These two irons are definitely the Mercedes and Cadillac of flat irons. I've had these two irons a very long time, just like I've had the Vivace, but I haven't used the Vivace as much as I've used these two. As you can clearly tell, I use the titanium one a lot, a lot. I use this one a lot. You can see the buildup on the side. Like I have two of these actually. I have two titanium. So that tells you guys, how much of these tools that I use. This is the second one. I actually broke this one and the plates ended up like not being, I just, I was scared to use it after I broke it. So I bought another one. So I actually have two of the same titanium plate iron. Now the difference with this particular iron when it comes on to titanium versus ceramic. Titanium is typically for silking and keratin. So how long have they lasted? These, I've had years. I've had all of these irons years now. Every single one. Uh-oh. The Vivace I've had a long time. I just don't utilize it as much. But these three, you guys see me use in almost every single video. I've had these iron years. Like, that's how high quality the H2 Pro irons are. So that's why I've never, I never really got back into offering irons of my own brand because I got so used to H2 Pro and I knew the durability. I knew that they lasted a very long time. I love the warranty on them, so I didn't have any issues. They carry an amazing warranty. If anything happens with the iron, I think it's within one year, you contact H2 Pro, they'll either fix the iron or send you another one and you send the other one back, period. You don't have to go through anyone. You go directly through H2 Pro and they hold the warranty on their irons. They are based in the USA, so you're not sending it back to Taiwan. You're sending it right back here. They're actually based in Atlanta, so it's very easy to get to, right? But the difference between the titanium and the ceramic, this I would use if I'm silking natural hair. I use this the most for silking out my natural hair clients, okay? It is a titanium plate, okay? Hold on. Let me see some. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. So these two irons are definitely going to be more for the natural hair, silking out. You want that smooth finish silk. Um, this is also a one inch. So both of them are one inch. The ceramic can be used to style natural hair. For those of you that are already silked, you do not style with a ceramic, um, a titanium iron. You silk, okay, and smooth with a titanium iron. Ceramic is your everyday use iron, okay? So this ceramic is what you can use for everyday use. You can use this on everyday use. On the site right now, we have the Elite Hair Care Anniversary Iron, which is the Silk Master that one, the reason why we offered the Silk Master versus the Micro Titanium, the Silk Master has an automatic shutoff. And I wanted to make sure that you guys don't burn your irons out and they have automatic shutoffs on them. The plates, absolutely amazing. Still the same durability. The heating element is slightly lower on the Anniversary Iron. And that's another reason why I wanted to have the Anniversary Iron as the next sister or the sister to this iron because i know that a lot of you are not silking your hair as much as i would be doing in the salon 
So you really, I didn't want you to have to pay Mercedes money, right? And you are using the iron or like you're using your car once every two months and then it has no use for you. So that's another reason why we offer the titanium as the anniversary iron. And that one also has the same features, but it also has an auto shut off. So that's a very important feature that I wanted to make sure you guys had because I wanted to make sure that if you leave your iron on the counter and you're at home, that iron will shut off within an hour of you leaving it. It tempers the same, it silks the same, it gives you that smooth finish. Absolutely amazing finish, amazing finish. Okay, the ceramic, this is your everyday. This iron is on the site right now, okay? This iron is for your everyday use. It is good for smoothing of natural hair. It is good for styling of natural hair. It's good for silking of relaxed hair. It's good for curling of relaxed hair. I curl with these irons and I flat iron with these irons. I do both, okay? The barrel, if you notice, it has a rounded barrel. The reason why I'm able to curl with it is because of the rounding of the mouth or the lip of the flat iron. It's nice and smooth so it doesn't have that square shape and I can literally create a candy curl with this. I can create a loose curl with this. Same thing with the titanium. Same thing with the anniversary iron. You can do a curl with that because the barrel is not square or the, the, the um, lips of the iron is not a square. It's not a hard square like it would be with the Vivace. Vivace has a hard square. I would not necessarily do a loose curl with this iron. Reason being is it's going to have that square shape to it and I'm not a fan of that. So that's why I use the Vivace for bobs because it's good for bumping. It's amazing for a quick bump and a smooth bump, right? So just because it's titanium doesn't mean that it's gonna be a better iron. It's a better iron when you're trying to silk out hair bone straight, you want it to be bone straight, you want it to have that crisp look, but you wanna be able to do it quickly. The ceramic is gonna be your everyday use. It can be used on natural or relaxed hair for styling and also somewhat smoothing of natural hair, but definitely smoothing for relaxed hair, okay? This one, I use this for every shortcut that I have and I also use it for edge detailing. I use this one for every shortcut and edge detailing. You guys can kind of tell that I use it that much because my, my, my plates are now began to warp. So I'm probably gonna buy another one anyway. Um, when my plates begin warping, I'm a professional. I use it every day. Like I'm gonna use it way more than you do. But this one I use to do the edge, like the hairline, when you guys see me doing it. It's also ceramic. This is a part of the micro line. This is highly professional. It is available on my site. Highly professional, you guys, okay? But it is an amazing iron. It's an absolutely amazing iron. I use it for my shortcuts, client shortcuts, and edge detailing for my natural clients when I'm trying to smooth out that hairline and that hairline look like peppercorns. This is what I use to smooth out that hairline really, really quickly, okay? A ceramic plate, so it's a diamond coated plate. Diamond dust is what we call it, it's diamond dusted plates. So it's absolutely amazing for silking that hairline out. That iron is also good for people who have short hair, pixie cuts, micro pixies. Um, I mean, you can use it for almost any, any short style. That's my go-to. I don't even pull out my Marcells anymore. And to show you guys how many irons I go through, I'm, I'm, not, I'm a hoarder when it comes on the tools. So just don't laugh. I'm a hoarder and I can admit that I'm a hoarder when it comes on the tools because I try everything. I try everything to make sure that what I like is what I like. And clearly you can tell these irons are my all, all time high, period. I use them for everything, <laughs> okay? But at the same time, because I know you guys are at home and you're not using your iron as much as I'm using my iron and as a professional I'm using it all day every single time I'm at work every single day every single client you're not doing that so that's another reason why the anniversary line is the line that we um it's kind of like the sister line to what we use in the salon the anniversary line is a little more cost effective as well but it's still the same quality it's still professional use it just allows you to have that automatic shut off that is very important especially when you're at home we don't want you to burn down your bathroom counter okay don't be like me and i've done that before i've actually burnt my bathroom counter 
That was a secret. Y'all don't tell anybody. Y'all don't tell anybody. All right, so let's look at my draw here. I'll show y'all my draw. And don't laugh. So this is draw one of my iron hoarding. Okay? So I used to, when I didn't have my H2 Pro, I was using this iron. I quickly saw why I hated this iron. Number one, I don't like these lines on the back. Number two, it just did not smooth the hair enough for my liking. I actually hate this iron, but I cannot throw it away. I'd rather just do it like an auction and do it to somebody, but I absolutely hate this iron. That's the reason why it's in my draw, okay? That's number one. This one, the plate, um, to show you how much of a hoarder I am, this one, the plates, which is my titanium, that's the one you guys just saw, I broke this one by dropping it several million thousand times and now the plates are loose. So I had to buy a new one, but I just refused to throw this away. I'm going to throw it away, but I, I just kind of refuse to throw it away. That's just how much I love my irons, okay? This one was a testing iron. Um, I was gonna release a digital, a digital touch iron and I just kind of, I'm one of those, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna offer it to you. So I just really got rid of it because I just didn't like it. And I decided that I didn't need to have a digital touch iron. These are my Marcel's. As a hairstylist, you never get rid of your Marcel irons. You never get rid of them. You never know when you're going to need them. And then I also have my Golden Hot Curling Iron, which I hate as well. I don't even touch that iron, nor do I plan on touching that iron. Um, that is not an iron that I would ever um, give to someone, mainly because... It's just not, it's just not, um, one that I would, I would give to someone. All right. So let's go over here to this side. I'm gonna take you guys over here now. This draw has one of the other, this is a smaller babyless Prima iron. I hate this iron. That's the reason why I don't bring it out. I love the other babyless iron. Um, because it is titanium, but here's my thing. That's another reason why you guys kind of see me go back and forth with my babyless iron because it's heavy and the plates are long. And what I find is when I use this iron, this and the other one, I run the risk of always burning my client because the plate extends all the way to the edge of the iron. So I don't have that lip for protection. That's another reason why you never hear me recommend a babyless iron at home. I'll talk and say that I use it for that client. But I honestly don't like to use these. Like, this is my, my last resort iron. That's another reason why the bigger one, I go back and forth with it. And I'll sometimes use my H2 Pro more than I'll use this iron. This is the Babyliss um, curling iron. I don't do a lot of long hair barrel curls, so I don't never really have, have to use it. That's the reason why it's in my draw. This iron is for... For keratin treatments, when I used to do keratin treatments, I no longer do them, but I still have the iron. This iron was one of the elite hair care irons that we released a couple years ago. I still have it, but because I use H2 Pro so much, I don't really use the iron. That's why it's there. Let's go in here now. More irons. This is another iron. This is actually one of the Vivace irons. That's this one, the red plate. This is the half inch. This one is also able to be used. Um, I just don't ever really need to use the half inch. That's why I don't pull it out, but it's there for my use. This one is the babyless one you guys always see me use. But if you guys look at the plates, this is why I don't use it as much. Because these plates burn the scalp. If I'm trying to do the scalp, like get really close to the scalp, this iron always burns my client. So I try not to use that as much. Another reason why I like to use the H2 Pros is because they have that little piece of lip. So when the iron actually is smoothing the hair, if you guys can tell, I use it a lot, okay? So don't judge me. I do. Um, but it has that little bit of protective lip, so you don't see the plate. And that allows me to get really close to the scalp for silking, but it won't burn the client. That is the biggest and most important part. You don't want to keep burning your client. That's another big thing for me. So these are the irons that I use in the salon and the reasons why I use them. Um, we have the irons that I use on the site now. Those are on there now. Um, we are also going to be updating and adding to the anniversary line. 
The anniversary line right now only has the titanium, but we're going to also add the ceramic, which is the sister to this one. The ceramic is the sister to this one. This one doesn't have an automatic shutoff. That's the only difference with the micros. Micros don't have automatic shutoffs. Micros are for typically use in a salon all day, every single day, and they are powered to be done that way. They're used that way. The anniversary line, which is another reason why we offer it, because the price point is a little bit lower. It has that automatic shutoff. It has the same protection. It has the same professionalism. Their professionalism is across the board, but it gives you that automatic shutoff. They're still diamond dusted plates. They're still extremely durable irons, but they're great for at home use because it allows you to number one, it doesn't give you as much direct heat as we would get in the salon because you're using it a lot more on your hair specifically than I would be. You're coming to me once a week, once every two weeks. Well, not even once a week, like once every two weeks, once every month. But at home, you might be using this iron every single day, for, excuse me, five days a week. That kind of heat is not definitely recommended at home. And you guys hear me say that all the time. I recommend using the anniversary line for you to use at home. If you already got the micro, which is the Mercedes Benz, you're fine, no problem. It's not a big deal. But for those of you that are looking to invest in a good iron and you want an iron that you can use at home and maybe you don't need the highly professional one, which is the micro, then you use the anniversary line. That's another reason why we have a specific line for our anniversary line because we want you guys to have access to professional flat irons that have an amazing warranty. Okay? Professional flat irons that have an amazing warranty. So after this live, I'm actually going to add the ceramic iron one inch to the site with the anniversary line. So you'll be able to get the ceramic um, one inch, whereas the micro is already on there. The ceramic micro is already on there. That one is, I think, 159. I mean, it's the Mercedes of a flat iron. Um, the ceramic anniversary iron is going to be, um, I think it's 119. It's 119 for the ceramic anniversary iron. Ceramic plates are diamond dusted. Just so you guys know. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on my client. Visit EliteHairCareUSA.com to get your flat irons. You guys now have a good place to get quality irons because your girl uses them and your girl can recommend them. Right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.